Hey, we have this problem on the board from the, it's from the MIT Integration B Qualifying Exam 2019, problem number three. So clearly we've got a lot of um, e to the x's going on. And whenever you see that, the first thing you're thinking is we know the uh, derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And so this is kind of screaming for a u substitution. I think before I do anything though, I wanna clean up. I don't like having um, where we're adding stuff in the exponents. I think that just kind of makes it confusing. So let's rewrite this as e to the x times e to the e to the x, just by exponent rules, we're adding these together. And then for this one, very similar. I could write this in the denominator, but I'll, I like, we'll just leave it this way. And then notice we could split this into two integrals because we got this addition here. But I think I'm gonna leave it. I think it's gonna be better this way. And then thinking about that u substitution. Now, of course, you could try something complicated. Like you could try to, um, we could try to call u e to the e to the x. And I think that's just gonna make a mess. So what I wanna do is, let's try to keep it simple and say, hopefully this will work, u equals e to the x. Because then the beauty of that is when we take our du, it's just gonna be e to the x dx. Notice what I could do is I could factor an e to the x out here. So we could rewrite this e to the x times e to the e to the x plus e to the minus e to the x dx. But then if you just visualize this over here, this is exactly our du value. So then if we do our substitution just on the exponents, and we have this piece our du, this is gonna clean up a lot nicer. So we'll have, just looking at this, so this will be, I'm saying this is gonna be a u here and this is gonna be a u here. So we'll have e to the u plus e to the minus u. And then when this is e to the x dx, that's just gonna be du. And now this is an easy integral, right? Because we know the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. And the integral of e to the minus u is minus e to the minus u plus c. And so then all we have to do is we just need to do our back substitution. Um, put one there and put one there. And so we're going to be left with e to the e to the x minus e to the, careful, e to the minus e to the x plus c. And that's our solution. Now you can see that just because it's in the MIT, MIT integration B doesn't mean it, it has to be impossible. It's actually not that bad of a problem.